Secret Jews, The Complex Identity of Crypto-Jews and Crypto-Judaism by Juan Marcos Bejarano Gutierrez For Jews, life in the Iberian Peninsula was never quite as idyllic as is often portrayed. Jews residing there had experienced early Christian anti-Judaism in the 4th century and had undergone persecution, forced conversions, and expulsions under the Christianized Visigoths in the 6th and 7th centuries. The Islamic conquests of Spain in the 8th century improved Jewish life and created a period of stability and growth. Jewish life under Islamic rule, however, was not devoid of its trials and misfortunes, as experienced under the al Mubarids in the 11th century and the al muhadis in the 12th century. Islamic fortunes eventually declined in the Iberian Peninsula. In the transition between Islamic and Christian rule, Jews flourished as an essential minority for the emerging Christian kingdoms now dominating the peninsula. In 1391, a new period in the history of the Jews of Spain began. Jewish communities throughout the peninsula, except those in the Kingdom of Portugal, were attacked. The violence was stoked by long-held Christian anti-Judaism and popular discontent. The violence forever altered the position of Jews in the Iberian Peninsula. Thousands of Jews were murdered and many more converted to Christianity under the direct threat of violence or to forestall it. The scope of the attacks in 1391 overshadowed all past trials as well as achievements and initiated a social and religious crisis that would last for more than a century. The Jews who converted to Christianity were known as conversos or new Christians in Christian literature and primarily as Anusim, forced converts in Jewish text. According to the Spanish monarchs Ferdinand and Isabella, Judaizing by conversos was the primary reason for their decision to order the expulsion of all unbaptized Jews in 1492 from their Iberian and overseas dominions. They argued that some unbaptized Jews had aided and abetted conversos in Judaizing. The only way to resolve the problem was the absolute separation of the two groups. The accusation was, in fact, true. Their solution to the problem was brutal. The descendants of Jews who had survived the mass conversions of 1391 were given a choice between exile and conversion. Further conversions were also brought about by the expulsion decrees issued by the Kingdom of Portugal in 1497 and the Kingdom of Navarre in 1498. Many exiles from the Kingdom of Castile and Aragon had taken refuge in those domains in the wake of the original expulsion orders. Those Jews who converted to forego exile faced challenges with an anti-converso sentiment very much alive and well, despite the drastic moves taken by the Spanish monarchs. Such actions had included the creation of the Spanish Inquisition in 1478, which was already firmly focused on conversos continuing to observe Jewish practices. In the Kingdom of Portugal, no real choice between exile and baptism was presented. Thousands of Jews expecting to leave the kingdom were forcibly baptized and forbidden to leave. Since these refugees had lived openly as Jews, their ability to preserve Jewish identity secretly was much stronger than had been the case for conversos in Castile and Aragon. The latter had already experienced a century of severe conditions, resulting in a weakened state of Jewish identity. The religious identity of conversos has often been the source of debate among scholars. Yitzhak Baer and Chaim Beinart argued that conversos were one with the Jewish people. According to their position, the Jewish community recognized that the choice to convert had been made under duress and that conversos on the whole were insincere in their attachment to Christianity. For Baer and Beinart, the inquisitional documents correctly testified to the Jewish practices of conversos. The initial conversos as well as their descendants remained faithful to Judaism to the best of their ability. In contrast, Ben Sion Netanyahu argued vociferously that outside of the first onslaught of 1391, the subsequent generations of conversos were in fact sincere converts to Christianity. The inquisitional records were nothing short of a farce. According to Netanyahu, while the first generation may have converted due to the threat of death, their children and grandchildren were sincere Christians. Netanyahu argued that whatever Christo-Jewish practices existed were mainly due to the resentment stirred by unjust inquisitional tactics. 
Netanyahu maintained that the Inquisition was not religiously motivated to extirpate the heresy of Judaizing. While a hatred of Judaism, Judaism had motivated previous sentiments against Jews, old Christians were now driven by anti-Semitism to destroy the conversos as a social and economic class, regardless of what religious beliefs they sincerely held.